everybody, it's AG Sisters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make little envelopes for your dolls. So I made a bunch here, and I wrapped it around with a elastic, and so this is, um, this is the first one I made. It's out of tape, and there's actually some things in it, like these are bills. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I don't know what I was doing, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this one's made out of glue. Yeah, so I'm just going to be telling you what you're going to be needing for this um, craft. So you're obviously going to need um, a blank white sheet of paper, a pencil, a um, glue stick or either tape, they both work, but if you do have a glue stick you still need tape, and then scissors. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so you're going to take your sheet of paper, and if you see the long side, sorry about the background noise, my dad was... Um, yelling to my sister. Anyway, so what you're going to do is kind of just cut like a thick line. Okay. So you have something like this. And then you're going to... this is very uneven. <laughs> Wait, whatever. And then you're just going to fold it like that. A gay hot dog fold. Okay. So now you have something like this. Now what you're going to do is cut it to the length you want it to. Or how long you want it to be. So this one's going to be big. So... <clears throat> This is what mine looks like. It just kind of looks like a, like a book cover or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but let's go this way. Now, since you don't want the sides like this, you don't want anything flopping out of your envelope, you need to have something to close these sides. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is take this creased part, and you're going to line it up to one of the sides. Remember, it's the crease side. And you're just going to mark how long the short side is. Like, <clears throat> like that. I marked it. And now you're just going to cut on that line. Okay. And now you're just going to cut it thinner. So now you're left with something like this. And you're just going to measure um, it to the side. Just make sure it fits. And if it does, you can start gluing it or taping it. So what I like doing is getting my glue stick and putting a little bit, like, I'm putting glue on only one flap of it, well, one side of it, and so you have something looking like that, and then I just put it, I put the whole, um, like, the whole paper thing and then put it right on the sticky part. Just like so. And now you have this flap, and now you can just put glue on that. So now you have a side. Now you would just tape it if you only had tape. But so, pretty much it, it's okay. So this is what it looks inside. And now you have to do it on the other side, obviously. <laughs> So I'll be back with 
this I finished. Okay, so I finished with um, this. <laughs> and now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make... Um, I forgot what it's called, but like it's this part of it. Like you close it, like the... I don't know what it's called. Just to close it. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to get your scrap. Once you... Oh, geez. <laughs> You still had, and what you're gonna do is you can either cut a like a tri triangle kind of shape, or you can either do a rectangle shape. It doesn't matter, however you want. But I'm just going to measure how long the top part is, the long side, and of course mark it. We should cut. Okay. Let's see if that fits. Okay. And then I think I'm just gonna go with a simple. What do you call it? Square kind of rectangle one instead of that triangle. Okay. So now I have something looking like this. Okay. Um. Now, you're going to see if this can fit inside your envelope. Only, like, one of the sides can fit inside your envelope. If you can, that's good, because you're going to be gluing or um, taping this inside. Taping is much more easier, I feel like, doing um, if I were you, but you don't have to do it that way. So, after you got it to this, uh, like can fit and everything, you're going to be gluing it in. So this is a kind of hard part because you don't want it sticking to everywhere when you're trying to fit the um, this part in. So it's kind of tricky. Alright, so now you have like this. You only put it on one side of the flap thing because the other side is going to be flapping down on the envelope. So let's try try to do this. Okay. I'm such a pro. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be really scary. Alright, I'm scared if this does not work. Okay. Okay. I got it in. not working out. I'll fast forward so you don't have to see me struggle. Okay, so that was really not easy. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> this is what it looks like now, and now you can actually, like, flap it down like that. Sorry, I got sticky hands. And I have something like, looking like this. So, this is the part when you need the tape if you weren't using the tape the whole time. What you're going to do is take a small part of tape a little tiny part of tape and you're just gonna fold it so it's sticky on like all sides and you're gonna put it right on this flap here and then put it right there and then you're gonna close it so now you can take it off like you can open it and close it instead of gluing it down with a glue stick you wouldn't be able to open it now you can make little with your scraps you can make like little um, indentations, like little mail things or bills or something. Um, and what I like doing, since I think you saw in the beginning, um, I write diff like I write for someone or something. So what I do is I make little squiggly lines in the corner, like that's the address or something. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and then I say for this one's for Rebecca. Re Becca. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, that's how I did it. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, please put a big thumbs up. And I'm sorry this is super long. But please subscribe, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.